I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we are going to discuss a mathematics paper from MPM 2D. This is IB program grade 10 and this is unit 2 coordinates in geometry. So I have taken up questions from this test paper. We will discuss them one by one. The idea is that you should understand how to answer these questions and perform well in your exam. The very first question on coordinate geometry is about median of a triangle. We are given a figure here, a triangle is there, giving three vertices, E, F and G. The question is, find length of the median from vertex G. Part B is, which I have just added, find equation of the median from the vertex G. Now as you know, median is a line from the vertex to midpoint of the opposite side, right? Now, opposite to G, the line is EF. So we need to find midpoint, let's say midpoint of line EF, right? So what is the midpoint of line EF? Coordinates of E are minus 1, 3. For F, it is 3 and 1. Midpoint will be average of X values and Y values. They should give you X and Y coordinates respectively. So we get the midpoint of EF as minus 1 plus 3 divided by 2. That's the x value. The y value would be 3 plus 1 divided by 2, right? So that is indeed equals to minus 1 plus 3 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1, and 4 over 2 is 2. So the midpoint is 1, 2, right? So let's locate this, 1, 2. So that becomes the midpoint, and I'm calling this point as M. E F right so midpoint of line segment E F so that's a good nomenclature to follow we need to find length of the median that means if I connect these two points then what is the length that is what we need to find right so let's find length of this median which is from G to M E F right so we need to find the length of this we should use calculator and figure out the answer is square root of the formula is difference of x values in this case the coordinate points are let me write here 1 and comma 2 right so the difference of x values is 1 minus 1 which is 0 plus difference of y values which is 5 minus 2 right 5 minus 2 square these values and then square root it right it's definitely a vertical line you could have counted right and say 3 is your answer right so what we get here is square root of 5 minus 2 is 3 this is 0 3 square which is 9 so it's square root of 3 square which is as expected 3 so the length of the median for this particular case is 3 so that's the first part second is find equation of the median from the vertex G. Now to find the equation we know two points. The points known to us are G which is 1 and 5 and median is the center point of E and F so that point is middle point of E and F which we just found as 1 and 2. So to find the equation of a line we need to find slope so I'm writing small m from G to this for the median right let me write small m and small m is rise over run that means difference of y values difference of y values here is 2 minus 5 divided by the difference of x values which is 1 minus 1 and that gives us minus 3 over 0 which is undefined undefined right since it's a vertical line correct so as you observe since it is a vertical line correct the slope is undefined in this case what is the equation of this vertical line well the equation is the x values as you can see the x values are 1 1 so the equation of the line here is which is the median right we say median is what is x equals to 1 right whenever the slope is undefined you cannot use y equals to mx plus p correct so in such cases 
you have to see the x value. So it's a vertical line going through GM and the equation of vertical line is x equals to 1. That becomes the equation of the line. I hope that helps, right? So in this video, we have used the formulas for midpoint, for the le length of the segment and for equation of the line. I hope all are clear to you. Thank you and all the best.